Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be going over the 10 best point of sale or POS systems and software. So for those of you guys who are just getting started in the point of sale system marketplace, or maybe you already have an, a physical brick and mortar retail, that is what point of sale systems are really best for is those brick and mortar retail locations, whether it's you're selling clothes, food at a restaurant, a lot of small businesses are in need of good point of sale systems. And that's what we're going to be diving into in today's video. What are those 10 best companies and point of sale systems and options for you? Because you all know that those old, old point of sale systems that are just a straight up dinosaur. You want something sleek, modern, easy to use for both your customers and for your employees. So that's what we're going to be diving into in today's video. And a lot of these modern solutions also easily connect with websites. Uh, if you have an e-commerce platform already. Uh, we're going to be diving into that later in, the, in this video, but at the number one spot, and it's no surprise to anyone who's been a fan of the channel for a while, is Shopify. Shopify personally is really one of my favorite e-commerce platforms on the marketplace, and they also offer point-of-sale systems. So for POS, point-of-sale systems, they allow you to sell in person and connect it to your whole Shopify dashboard, which is really, really nice. And before we go any further, if you want to get set up with Shopify, I do have a link down in the description box below where you can get started with a 14-day free trial. So that will be the first link down in the description box below as well. And some of the links uh, to different platforms are affiliate links, so full disclosure there. And yeah, so Shopify really is just a really great platform overall. Beyond that, they also have the POS systems, which is why they're at that number one spot, just because they not only are an amazing platform to begin with, they also offer really solid point of sale systems and different physical uh, connection points with the digital side of things as well. And their whole, the app, the navigation, uh, everything that you need for setting up a proper POS terminal, uh, at your physical brick and mortar location, uh, depending on what types of products you're selling, it, it works really well and connects everything and it's all synced. So as you can see, you have your inventory management, you can create staff permissions as well as really high level reporting and analytics that they also have within the Shopify dashboard. So as you can see here, just an example, you have sneakers, you have, uh, well, lots of sneakers. Okay. And it'll report it based on locations as well. So maybe you're, you have multiple locations, then that's another opportunity there. So depending on how customers are purchasing, you can track that data across all the different pieces, whether they're online or in person. So especially uh, with lots of people in their in physical retail stores, that if you're doing pop-up shops or any type of system where you might want or physical brick and mortar, regular, you know, physical location, you want a point of sale system and you can track all that data and put it all together, which is really, really nice. Uh, and as well as that, they also have a variety of customer profiles that you can set up uh, and do better marketing and loyalty programs, say if they come in store or if they uh, order on your online website as well. So it really syncs the two, the, the best out of really some of the, out really out of most of the platforms that are mentioned in today's video. So they are at that number one spot. Uh, and if you want to learn more, like I said about Shopify, link will down, be down in the description box below. We're not going to be diving too deep on any of the different companies, uh, point of sale systems and services uh, and software. In today's video, we're just going to be doing a brief overview. Uh, if you want to learn more, figure out more, then you can go ahead and feel free to check out the links down in the description box as well. Um, so yeah, Shopify POS, I really like them and it's very easy to use. So moving in at number two spot, this is Square. Now Square is probably really the first company that had the whole website side of things and really to create a modern sleek point of sale system. Uh, back in the day, they used to give out, or maybe they still do, but those little tiny chips that people would stick in their iPhone uh, to sell things physically and they would uh, swipe cards that way. I mean, nowadays they have a lot of other options as well, like tap to pay, as well as the little nice uh, screens that you can have for both customers and employees. You can manage all the analytics as well. So they do also have a really good setup for restaurants. I know that a lot of you uh, guys with the point of sale systems, you're maybe restaurants or small businesses and you need something uh, that is flexible, which a lot of the platforms in today's video are pretty flexible. Um, 
But Square really has been at the forefront for so long in the space of point of sale systems. I mean, really Square is probably more known for point of sale than anything else that they do. I mean, Square has just been such a staple in the point of sale systems marketplace, which is why I put them at the number two spot uh, as well. So you can easily, of course, accept payments. Uh, as well as contactless. So uh, you can also take orders online or over the phone, and then that will pick up in the point of sale system. Uh, and the hardware is pretty easy to get set up with and pretty flexible as well, along with the variety of different square tools that they have. Uh, and they also have online solutions. So if you're trying to set up a website, then you can do that as well, but it's not necessary. Uh, and really, I mean, it's not necessary to have a website with any of the point of sale systems, but it is just a nice thing to have. Uh, and it is definitely worth doing. Uh, if you are just a brick and mortar store, it's definitely worth getting a website set up. Uh, and a lot of the different point of sale systems like a Shopify or a Square have online solutions that you can then pair with your point of sale system to kind of give you your business more of a presence, not just physically, but also digitally. So uh, it, at least they make it easy there as well with Square, similar to Shopify. Uh, where it's easy to connect. So as you can see, these are the different types of readers. Yeah, so those are the typical card readers that you, you know, if you want a really small one, ah, so see first reader free. So yeah, if you want to get set up, then uh, Square is cool because they, they do offer that as a as a uh, little promotion uh, as well if you just want to test them out a little bit. And they also ha uh, have terminals and registers uh, if, depending on what you need, if you need contactless chip or you know, depending on what type of reader that you want or want to play around with. So yeah, definitely recommend checking out Square. They really have been at the forefront of payment processing and offering terminal services for uh, brick and mortar stores and retail and just brick and mortar in general. Uh, Square has been just so popular uh, within the point of sale system space as a modern and sleek solution and an alternative to the old dinosaur archaic point of sale systems that nobody wants to even uh, touch up uh, square is nice and sleek and easy to use so moving in at number three we have light speed now light speed is very similar to the others although they are more focused i would say even just around point of sale as well uh, Lightspeed does have other uh, offerings as well, similar to the others. See, they do have some e-commerce uh, integrations too, so nothing to worry about there. Lightspeed also has the whole point of sale system set up. Really, no surprise there uh, either. So you can easily get started selling, whether you're doing apparel, shoes, um, pets, sporting goods, different types of product categories that they allow you to sell within too and they allow you to easily uh, manage your inventory, uh, see out of, uh, products that are out of stock, as you can see here as well. So really, it is up to you just to kind of test the waters and see which one you like best, uh, because they all kind of have a various different dashboards and integrations, depending on maybe if you already have something set up, maybe you need to compare as to like, okay, well, what would fit best with the solution that you already have? How can this uh, plug in and kind of make the best and easiest transition for you? Uh, if you're trying to set up with a new point of sale service or system and software. So learning all the back end stuff is quite a bit of, of a learning curve, right? So it's definitely worth trying out a few different ones if you're not really sure maybe uh, as you're comparing the different companies in this video. So Lightspeed, definitely another one worth taking a look at as well. Uh, various different uh, country locations as well as far as their popularity too. So definitely would take a look at Lightspeed. And moving in at number four, we have QuickBooks. Now, I know I mentioned QuickBooks on the channel before, I will as, as well as I have links down below in the description box to all the different companies mentioned. If you wanna check any of them out, of course, feel free to do so. But QuickBooks, not only do they offer uh, accounting and invoicing and all those other small business features, they do also have point of sale. So QuickBooks, although they are primarily focused around accounting, they do also have point of sale, which is pretty cool because it's kind of like a one-stop shop. You don't have to go around to different platforms. Uh, and they also have nice integrations with other providers if you are uh, getting set up with QuickBooks as your point of sale system solution. You know, they're more focused around accounting, but if you want to have easy sync with QuickBooks, that could be something that is a nice benefit to you if you're already using QuickBooks for accounting. 
and all that, then it may be easier for you just, hey, I'm just gonna do their point of sale system and you can easily get set up there so that you can not have to worry about too many other different platforms. If you're already familiar with QuickBooks platform, then it could make sense for you to use QuickBooks as well for point of sale system. But I figure I would mention it just because it is something that they also offer and not everybody knows like, oh, they actually have point of sale systems, even though, you know, primarily they do accounting software. So I figured I would mention it. Uh, it's worth taking a look at if you're already familiar with QuickBooks. Otherwise, maybe you look at other solutions out there as well. Uh, it just depends on what you're comfortable with, of course. And moving in at number five, we have Zettel. Now, Zettel is a relatively newer service by PayPal. So PayPal owns it, which I'm personally a big fan of PayPal. So I figured, hey, Zettel, we got to include them in this list. And they also have point of sale systems. So they are a newer player in the marketplace uh, in the space, but they do have really nice sleek solutions because, hey, they're owned by PayPal, right? They're made by PayPal. So they know what they're doing when it comes to offering different services as well as point of sale systems or POS systems, right? So uh, I would definitely recommend checking out Zettel. It's nice, sleek, brand new type of setup. They have a lot of different physical um aspects to it. They, they have printing, they have cashier, register, uh, pin pads, everything that you need for physical brick and mortar. As you can see, a little shoe store they use as the example. They have nice reporting. The thing that's nice about Zettel is because it is by PayPal, they really have everything dialed in pretty well when it comes to reporting and everything just being sleek and easy to access and modern, especially compared to maybe some of the older type of style of POS systems. Zettel is like a brand new service, so everything is pretty sleek and optimized. They also have inventory management, of course, uh, the whole checkout process too. Uh, and in addition to that, they do have a lot of integrations with Prakti, Big Commerce, which I mentioned on the channel before, Zero, uh, Shopify, Vend, Plan Day, Good Till, Lightspeed. I mentioned them already as well. It can too, uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Air POS. So lots of other integrations as well. Uh, if you're already using other platforms and apps and software, uh, whether it be accounting or e-commerce, they have a lot of integrations. Uh, to make things easier for you to get set up. They also have food and drink POS systems, so more uh, focused around that as well, whether you're doing a cafe, a bar, or a restaurant. So they do have food and drink uh, offerings as well to help out with those types of businesses for those type of point of sale systems. So they have that as well. And if you're doing a traditional retail store, then it's easy to track stock as well. And they have a little mobile app for retail stores. So you know, in general, I would say definitely worth che checking out Zettel. Uh, they have a lot of professional checkout systems as well, the terminals uh, and readers. So definitely worth taking a look at Zettel. Uh, once again, they are relatively newer service, but they are by PayPal. So uh, definitely take a look at Zettel. Moving in next on this list, we have Clover. Now Clover's been around for quite a while as well as Square. So they are kind of similar in that regard as they've been around the block for quite a while. Clover really is focused around uh, physical small business and having POS systems. That's what they're primarily known for as Clover. So for POS systems, uh, they have a variety of different options. As you can see here at the top, this is kind of what their general sleek design looks like. A lot of the different platforms and providers are somewhat similar. Uh, it's just up to you to figure out, okay, do I like this dashboard? Do I like how much they, they charge for the different um, physical aspects to like how much for uh, all the readers and anything like that. So just comparing and, and realistically though, I would say the online dashboard and how everything syncs and connects properly is one of the most important aspects uh, just so it's user friendly and easy for both customers and employees to navigate um, and use. So Clover is pretty solid in that regard. Uh, they have the variety of different types of products. So depending on what type of hardware you need, uh, then they also have that to fulfill your needs as well. Uh, make it easy to manage things and customize your dashboard and obviously process more payments, which is the whole point of a point of sale system in the first place. So you can manage your orders uh, and grow your customer base too. So you can set up little customer profiles, uh, which will show, track data on your customers, which is pretty cool. You could set up little lo loyalty reward programs too, uh, which is nice and easily oversee your team. 
uh, within Clover. So definitely worth taking a look at Clover. They've been around the block again for quite a while now. Uh, so they're, they're definitely one of the more experienced vendors and they have a lot of integrations as you can see here, uh, you know, MailChimp, QuickBooks, Zero uh, as well. So yeah, definitely worth taking a look at Clover. And next in this list, we have Vend HQ or Vend by Lightspeed. So this is actually by Lightspeed as well, uh, but they also have Omni Channel uh, point of sale systems that they offer too. So different than their Lightspeed point of sale, somewhat similar, but Vend HQ is by Lightspeed. So they also have point of sale offerings as well. Uh, so depending on what you're trying to get set up with, maybe it's worth taking a look at Vend as well. If you're uh, maybe brand new to point of sale systems, then they also have um, a lot of real-time reporting. As you can see, integrations with Zero and QuickBooks for that accounting software aspects uh, and integrations with Shopify, Equid, and WooCommerce. So, so you can really be the omni-channel retailer. Uh, that you want to get into. So definitely worth taking a look at Venda HQ as well. Just another option, figured I'd throw it in this list as well. Moving to the next one on this list, we have Bindo Labs or Bindo. So Bindo also offers point of sale systems and omni-channel uh, payments for your business. So their system's pretty nice and sleek, uh, I would say, and lots of different options as far as managing and tracking things in your dashboard. Uh, as you can see, they are a all-in-one solution for food and beverage, retail, and hospitality. So they have a lot of additional extra metrics that you can get set up with, a variety of pieces of their dashboard. You can easily manage inventory, cost control, um, selecting payments, as you can see here. Uh, you know, not, nothing surprising here, pretty much the, you know, everything that you would expect from a point of sale provider. Uh, but yeah, Bindo Labs, definitely also worth taking a look at. Moving on next in this list, we have Touch Bistro. Now they are primarily focused around restaurants specifically. Uh, so if you're a restaurant, then maybe Touch Bistro is better for you for a point of sale system because they are more catered around restaurant point of sale systems. So Touch Bistro is worth taking a look at because they have like specific aspects like table management or reservations. So like I said, if you are specific to restaurants and you really want something more catered, around a restaurant, then Touch Bistro is probably a better option just because that is what they are focused around. Uh, in comparison to most of the other providers in this list are more around retail uh, or maybe smaller scale restaurants So or like quick service. So I would say maybe if you have sit down then where you're doing the table management and reservations and all that, then Touch Bistro is probably a more advanced, better, more scalable solution for you uh, because they have the more restaurant focused product offerings. Um, and aspects to their platform. So moving in, last but not least on this list, we have Revel. Now Revel also does, of course, point of sale systems once again. So they have point of sale systems with a lot of different, uh, both restaurants and retail. So Maple Street, I actually a, a fan of them as well, the little biscuit company. So that's kind of cool that they use them as well. So if you're trying to get set up with a point of sale platform, then Revel is another popular one uh, worth taking a look at as well since they have been around the block for quite a while and they have a lot of different uh, companies that use them. So it is worth taking a look at Revel and taking a look at what they have for point of sale systems if you're looking to get set up with just another point of sale system provider. So. Guys, that is all for today's list. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell as well so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Once again, I will mention it one last time. There is a link down below in the description if you want to get set up with Shopify, a 14-day free trial. Like I had Shopify point of sale systems, they are really number one in this list. So feel free to check those out down in the description box below. And once again, smash that like button. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.